Hey, Viking fans. The Vikings have released their 53-man depth chart on their website. It's official. Let's get into it in 3, 2, 1. Hey, Viking fans, this is Skull World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, at Skull World. Instagram, still yet to come. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you hit subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about this 53-man roster I'm about to discuss. Also, it allows you to enter a contest. The rules are in the description below. I'm giving away, I'm four subscriptions away from giving $50 on the game day against the Packers. Get me there. Push this video. Go down. Make sure you leave a comment. I appreciate it. Now let's get into it. Um, if you guys have been watching my shorts today, I've been putting out a bunch of videos as things of significance came in. And we can talk about them as we go through this. Um, uh, quarterbacks, we kept two for like the first time ever. I think that's been more of a, a new thing with teams that they only keep two. Um, we're probably going to have a practice squad quarterback, obviously. Um, there is talk that Kellen Mond was not um, – his team has not approached about, hey, we really want you back after waivers. There is talk about Sean Mannion coming back, um, being on the practice squad. But uh, obviously quarterback uh, Kirk Cousins and Nick Mullins – um, are our two quarterbacks on the 53 running backs. This does make me happy. We got Dalvin Cook, Alexander Madison, Kenny Nwangu, Ty Chandler, the best running back room in the league, in my opinion. Ty Chandler, he will at minimum start for the Vikings in 2024, in my opinion. He's that good. Uh, fullback, CJ Ham. So we have five running backs on our team, guys. Five. All right. Wide receiver. This shocks me that they we cut Tristan Jackson. We cut. cut uh, we cut uh, Myra Mitchell. We cut. We cut uh, Chasina, which leaves us five wide receivers: Justin Jefferson, Amir Smith, Marset, uh, Adam Thielen, KJ Osborne, Jalen Naylor. Jalen Naylor makes his team. I did have him making the fifty-three prior to um, the final cuts, mainly because I thought we needed a backup um, punt returner, and I was hoping we, you know, I was thinking the team might be afraid we'll lose him through waivers. He is a future, you know, wide receiver in this league, two or, or wide receiver two or wide receiver three in this league. Um, I firmly believe that. I did think we would keep one of uh, Meyer Mitchell or Tristan Jackson, and I was bet on Tristan Jackson. He was cut last. But or Chasino was cut last, but I thought Tristan Jackson was gonna get it. Uh, tight ends: we got Herb Smith Jr., we got Johnny Munt, and Ben Ellison. And big cut was Zach Richards, uh, Zach Davidson. I really thought he was gonna make it. I thought he showed up well in the third game. I really thought we were gonna keep him. Uh, we didn't. I he's gotta be on this practice squad though. Him and um, Nick Mullen or him and. Uh, uh, Muse, Nick Muse. Uh, left tackle, Christian Derisaw. Left guard, Ezra Cleveland. Center, Garrett Bradbury. Right guard, Ed Ingram is our starter. Awesome. And right tackle, Brian, Brian O'Neill. Here's the guys that made it. Blake Brandle. Chris Reed. Austin Schlotman or Schlutman. I don't know how you pronounce it now. Um... Uh, and Ole Udo have made it. And big surprise, we keep in 10, Vidarian Lowe. I think he's got a feature in this league. I did have him getting cut and hopefully being on the practice squad. But we kept 10 linemen. And uh, Vidarian Lowe makes the team. That was a shocker for me, honestly. But uh, we traded Jesse Davis to the Steelers for a conditional seventh round pick. Now, going to the defense. Outside linebacker, and we got Daniil Hunter, Patrick Jones, uh, Luigi Villain. I think I'm saying it right finally. Made the team. That was a big surprise. 
I, I didn't know much about him. I didn't see much about him. I never talked about him on videos. I, did, I mentioned his name a couple of times. But, crap, he makes a team over some... I mean, we... And I'll get into it. We, tr we released Armand Watts at the end. We, we released a, you know, Denarius Robinson. Um, we re Man, we, we released what I hope were really good guys. And uh, we got a Luigi Villain. Uh, and I know uh, Janarius Robinson had a rough go, uh, but I hopefully makes a pra um, makes it through waivers and on the practice squad. I still do really like him. Uh, Jonathan Bullard, you know, came out of nowhere and made this team, and we got him starting defensive end right now in front of Ross ba Blacklock, who we traded for. I think we traded a six and received a seventh. I might have said that wrong in my short. Um, so we got Ross Blacklock and a seventh, and we traded away a six. And that was a pretty big steal for a guy who was a second rounder. He didn't do do a whole lot for the Texans, but he was really highly thought of coming out of college. Nose tackle Harrison Phillips, no backup for nose tackle. So I guess on third down we'll put a rush end in there, somebody a bit you know you know you know one of the defensive ends or you know whoever uh, up the middle on which it might be a great strategy. We did lose Ty McGill. That's who would have been on that third down, I, I'm thinking, but not anymore. Uh, we still got moves to make, I think, though, guys. Uh, Dalvin Tomlinson is the other DN, which is weird calling him a DN. He's a D tackle, but he's playing DN. Uh, James Lynch, I was all along thinking he'd make the team. Really solidified it when we got rid of Armand Watts, though. And uh, Asezi Otomoyo, he is, um, you know, prototypical DN for a 3 4. He did do some good things. I did have him getting cut at one point, uh, but I think I kept him on my last 53. I don't know, but I thought we would uh, keep him if uh, we, th you know, if we were afraid of losing him to uh, the waiver wire. Zadarius Smith is outside linebacker, and DJ Wanham is the backup. So we got five rush. Um, rush linebackers or edge rushers so Zadaria Smith, DJ Wanham, Patrick Jones the second, Daniil Hunter and Luigi Villain. Um middle linebacker is Eric Kendricks, Troy Dye and we got um let's see here in weak side linebacker uh, Jordan Hicks and Brian Osamoa. So that wasn't a big surprise. Dye kind of tailed off though. I was thinking maybe Blake Lynch would have made it. He got cut um, Surratt was kept out of that third game. Uh, I think it was because we wanted to wave him. He wouldn't get hurt, and we wait. And that's what it, apparently the strategy was: is wave those two guys. They pass through waivers healthy, and we can get them on our practice squad. That is my thoughts there. Now I'm I'm learning about this NFL thought process. We held guys out like a Watts and a Surratt and a and a and a. Blake Lynch, so we didn't get him hurt in that third game, and then they could pass through waivers. But Die played, you know, he's made the team. Uh, Cameron Dantzler, um is our cornerback. Andrew Boo Jr. is currently the backup. Chris Boyd makes his team. He was, I mean, if I, I had him getting cut on almost every 53 man. Um, I think I put him on the last one, but I'm not, I can't remember. Uh, cornerback Patrick Peterson, Shandon Sullivan, and a Caleb Evans. So that's your six cornerbacks. Safety. Now, I was really starting to think Dorn was about to make this team uh, based on who they were cutting. I thought, we're not going to keep five safeties, and we didn't. Dorn got cut. I hope he makes a practice squad. Really looked good. A team should snap him up. Man, he looked, he looked really good. Harrison Smith. Uh, Cameron Bynum are starters, and Josh Mateus, who played really well, uh, and Lewis Seen are our safeties. Uh, and then uh, kick right now they got um, kick uh, kicker Greg Joseph, Ryan Wright punter, um, Ryan Wright's the holder obviously, long snapper Andrew Depola, uh, kick returner right now they have as the depth chart Ken Nawangu, KJ Osborne, and Ty Chandler. Um, punt returner, Amir Smith, Marset, and Jalen Naylor. So those are the two guys, and that's probably why Jalen Naylor is our fifth receiver right now. Um, so that's it. Minnesota Vikings, this is Skull World. Tell me what you think below. 
we're gonna have a live show on Facebook um, tonight. It's also be on on Twitter and YouTube. It's it is uh, Skull Live on uh, and that's the name of our live show every Tuesday night, eight o'clock Central, nine o'clock nine o'clock Eastern, over on Facebook or YouTube on the Purple Code. The purple code. Just go live on the purple code. Go like and subscribe. Ring the bell over there so you don't miss one of those live shows. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for sticking with me today. All those freaking videos I put out. I uh, can't. I can't wait to the live show tonight to talk about it. Join us. You'll have fun. Skull Vikings. Cue the music. <laughs>